I'll let you choose. Any ideas, dude? Uh -huh. All right. Second team name: Coco Puffs and Garden Gnome. There you go. There you go. Wait, what? Spy and sniper. Spy and sniper. All right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Hey, Carabiners, I'm gonna have to PM you the. Uh... I'm just gonna go with the rivals. I'm just gonna go with the rivals update for that. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just gonna PM you the name. All right. Smuggler because is no one will be angry. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. He doesn't want to say it, does he? <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, okay, the feathers. On a serious note, is your name really going to be "Let You Choose" or what is your name going to be? That's not what I meant, but that's a fine name, sure. All right. That's right. Oh no. No Billy Mays tonight. <laughs> Too tired for that. All right. <laughs> not in the mood Taco, for Billy Mays tonight. Tell me. Taco, just tell me when we're up and running, and we'll begin. We're 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 rolling. Go ahead. Alrighty. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Team Fortress Trivia Night Number 11. I'm your host, Kira Vedas, and let's get things underway. We have three teams of two. The big prizes for tonight, a Texas uh, Bear Bundle, a combination of Teddy Roosevelt and the Texas 10-gallon, as well as the Mall Cop Bundle, the new heavy set. With that much underway, let's get things moving along. Our first team is looking at D and Feathers McGraw. Team, let you choose. Team B, a combination of Cocoa Puffs and Garden Gnome, the rivals. <laughs> and Team C, with Slippy and Pink, with Slippy and Smug Lord, the Bronies. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Can I kill for them? everyone out in the audience at this point, you can already tell my disdain for them. <laughs> but I for one team during each match, can I, so kill them? I know what you're thinking. <laughs> what about like that? Here are the rules. <laughs> I'm going to ask a series of 25 questions. Once I ask them, you're going to have a limited amount of time to answer each question. The team that gets the question right gets a point. At the end of it, the team with the most points wins first prize. The team with the second most points wins second prize. And the team that comes in last walks away with a prize of disappointment. Our special guest tonight, towering over us in the VIP room, Mr. Robin Walker. Yeah, Robin Walker. Yeah. Now, for a couple of rules for the audience, I do kindly ask you to please just keep it down. No mic spamming, no answering the uh, contestants' questions, just because they are actually competing for something here. I will say that we do have audience-specific minigames. When these come into play, I will ask the audience a question and choose a random member of the audience. That member will get to answer the question. If they get it correct, they will win a prize for the end of the event. Yes, Robin Walker is eligible to answer, even if he doesn't have a mic. In this case, <laughs> microphone is optional. However, for contestants, it's not. So, with that, let's get things underway. Hmm, an Uber for the start. Not bad. Question number one. In Team Fortress 2, what is the only class that has only one item set? Team Rivals. Engineer. Incorrect. Team Brony. Pyro. That is correct. No. I was going to answer that. Oh, I'm the same Only one. Without one. Went out one. Yeah. Question number two. What is the world's largest and highest energy particle accelerator? All right, I can see team let you choose frantically trying to push the button, so should I let them go? Yeah, yeah, let them go. That does this work? All right. <laughs> team let you choose. Yeah. <laughs> the change on collide. You push the button, there that you go. 
You see that big green button in front of you? I'm you trying, trying, man. Mine's blue. <laughs> oh, yes. A little late for this, but I will say it now. Our contestants, as well as the audience members, when it comes to you, are allowed to use Google for the event. I not only ask you to use Google, I implore you to use Google, or else this will go very that slowly. That means begs for, for all people. you small talk. Oh. Stop pushing me, smug. Question number three. What three Mountain Dew flavors were brought back through the popular Dewmand promotion? What three Mountain Dew flavors were brought back through the popular Dewmand promotion? Fifteen seconds. Surrender now, maggots, and you will not be heard! Yeah, we need, like, music. Music to, to travel by. Time's up. The correct answer is... Pitch Black, Supernova, and Typhoon. Damn it. So, I just question number four. four. <laughs> question number four. Where was the first Summer Olympic Games held? I'm looking for the city and the country. Team Brony. Uh, what was it again? Uh, somewhere in Greece. Five seconds. <laughs> Time is up. My team <laughs> lets you choose. Is it Athens, Greece? That is correct. Damn it. Very good. Sorry, my mind just went away. <laughs> Question number five. After the belt's retirement, who is given possession of the WWE Hardcore Championship belt? I am the Ultimate. After the belt's retirement, who was given possession of the WWE Hardcore Championship belt? Fifteen seconds. Team Rivals. Well, uh, Rob Van Dam? Incorrect. Team Brony. Uh... That's not an answer. Incorrect. Team let you choose. Uh, Vince McMahon? Incorrect. The correct answer was Mick Foley, otherwise known no. as Mankind. Oh, are you serious? Why did he get Question number six. What does El Dorado mean? Team let you choose. Uh, the, the goal? City goal? Incorrect. Uh, team rivals. Um, it's the... It's up. Time is up. Uh, team Brony, do you have an answer? The golden one. That is correct. No. Nice. <laughs> Question number seven. What is... Actually, that music did help. Destructor, could you please play the fitting trade music in the background after I ask a question? Thank that you. That one? Yes. Yeah. Question seven. What is the first listing in the Animaniac song Yakko's World that is not a country? What is the first listing in the Animaniac song Yakko's World that is not a country? Fifteen seconds. Team Rivals. Um... Time is up. Uh... Team lets you choose. Is it Puerto Rico? Incorrect. <laughs> Team Brony, do you have an answer? I'm just gonna take a wing at this, but uh... And now the Nations of the World brought to you by Yakko Warner? <clears throat> that is a level of fail that I cannot even give a sarcastic <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Thank you kindly for that. <laughs> Well, can I take a shot at this even though we lost? Sure. Was it the U.S.? 
Wow. Let's ask the audience on that one. Is the United States a country? What, what are you thinking? What the hell? Hell. Are you fucking serious? Dear Lord. Oh dear. Stop loading on the side of it anyway. But to everyone here, the correct answer was the Caribbean. Yes. <laughs> I call BS. Question number eight. You can call BS all you want. It's not going to do you any good. Question number eight. Three Mile Island's nuclear generating station is located in what river? As you can see, I'm currently radioactive myself. Let you choose. Is it the Ohio River? Once again... I don't even have a response. Oh, oh, Team Baroni. Oh, oh, oh. Um, the it? Oh! That is correct. Thanks. Yes! Thought so. Oh. <laughs> Question it. number nine. What court case declared state laws establishing separate public schools for black and white students unconstitutional? Team, let you choose. Brown versus Board of Education. That is I'll correct. Topeka, Kansas. Don't ever say you left one of these events not learning anything. <laughs> the more you know. Shing. Question number ten. And knowledge is power. What years were the Spanish Sahara established and disestablished? What years were the Spanish Sahara established too loud, too loud. <laughs> and disestablished? <laughs> too loud. Team Brony. Uh, 1884 to 1958? Incorrect. Team, let you choose. So, 1884 and 1975? Incorrect. Team Rivals. That'll be good. 1884 and 1904. Your answers were also stupid that a medic came flying oh. out from the audience. Uh, <laughs> can I, I will say that Let You Choose was definitely the closest. The correct answers were 1884 to 1976. Yeah. I knew the answer smug. How'd you have to screw it up like that? I would ask whoever just uh, summoned doves, please do not do so. It is cruel to let the doves be trapped inside of a glass Robin. cage. Robin. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Demomen don't summon doves. Demomen summon beer. And with that, we're ten oh, questions along the way. No, scrumpy. And we're actually performing about as well as expected. Team Brony, three points. Let you choose. Three points. Team no. Rivals, I guess oh. I was wrong when I said I picked the stupidest team with that name. No. <laughs> Zero points. I hate you. <laughs> Shut up! I know you do. <laughs> Thank you. So if we do that much, it's time for an audience-specific minigame. Oh boy. Yay. Alright, once again, here's how the rules go. I'm going to ask a question. I'm then going to pick a random member of the audience to answer that question. You have five seconds to answer that question. If you get it right, you get a prize at the end of the event. With that said, the question comes from the category... Team Fortress 2. Wait, hold on, Kirbatus, Kirbatus. Yes. Is, is this mic only? No, you can enter in microphone and text chat. Okay. But you have to wait until I call on your name for it. Is Robin excluded? No, Robin is allowed to play. Ah, very well. He's like the ultimate Google hat. Switching to a different question. Well, shouldn't we ask him to come from? Mm, what? Shouldn't we ask him to if I call on him, then he actually becomes available to play. That's how it Wait, works. How, you, how do you call on this? <laughs> Music is making me Stop awkward. asking questions. <laughs> Stop asking questions. Here comes the question. It comes from the category storage. <laughs> See what you did A there? DVDR can contain roughly how many minutes of video? I will accept both a video and an audio response. The person who is going to answer this question is... Ms. Yu. Time's up. The next person... Garden. What? 
Other one. Repeat the question. 120 minutes is correct. 